Hey, Trip Kramer here from tripadvicecoaching.com. And on today's video, I want to talk about the seductive high five. Now, I get it. It's a little cringy. Even just saying it out loud feels kind of cringy. Like, oh, really? You give a girl a high five? Ugh, that seems lame. That seems stupid. Why would you ever want to turn a high five into anything? Why would you even do this? Well, my friends, I'm going to be showing you a demonstration of how it looks when it actually works. And I have my girl Megan here to be with me to show you how this can be done. So you're gonna see examples of it being done correctly and you're gonna see examples of it done incorrectly so then you can learn how to do it. And the reason why you wanna learn this is because it's going to make the conversation that much more flirty. It's gonna make it so you can seduce her more and you can build that attraction. Now, if you need more help with building attraction, go to getterhook.com. That's where you can get my course and learn everything about flirting, meeting women, and building attraction. And this is just one small piece of the puzzle. So let's get into it. So what I'm gonna do is start off with a few examples of what not to do, okay? The cringy, lame high five that you're not gonna do, and then we'll move into the actual example, okay? So of course, we have our variations, right? You have your fist bump. Do not ever fist bump a girl. That screams friend zone. So we're not gonna fist bump. Stay away from fist bumps or anything like it, especially the explosion. We don't want that. Not sexy at all, okay? So let's move on here. Now, we don't wanna give a high five. That's the high five you don't wanna do, okay? That's the friend high five. That's the normal high five. You do that to your friends. Okay, we don't do that to the people that we're trying to seduce, okay? So here's an example again. You see it right there. That's a high five where you're just banging her hand like that. Screams friend, not seductive. So we'll stay away from that. Here's another awkward one is a high five hold. This is kind of weird. We don't do that to anybody. You should never high five hold. That's also very awkward. Why would you be holding it and shaking it? And let's stay away from anything that resembles what you're seeing here, okay? Let's stay away from the double high five, especially the one where you just slap her hands. Again, that's for friends. That's not very flirtatious at all. Okay, so this is an example of what it looks like when you're far away. So you can see the distance between us has increased, which is gonna make it harder to do the seductive high five that you're gonna see here. So let's rewind a little bit. You see the distance between us. I'm reaching over to give this high five and kind of grabbing her for a second. You can see the awkwardness, not a lot of tension there. So let's give you another example. Let's watch that again so you can see too far away, super awkward, hard grip, stay away. So now you can see right here, this is the perfect distance. You want to be about this amount away, not just for the high five, but for when you're actually talking to a girl in general, when you're trying to connect with her. You want this nice, I'd say that's about, a foot and a half, two feet of distance between you. So when you do have the opportunity to touch her or to break the touch barrier, it's not gonna be so awkward like it was over here where you were so far away. So let's see what happens. Okay, there it is. So that's a seductive high five. So what we're doing here is we're not putting our hand up to give a high five per se. It almost looks like it. But we're putting our hand up just like this she gets the idea that it's like this high five. She's going to go grab it, and then you're going to hold on for just a second longer. So check it out. And I'm holding eye contact that entire time. You see that? I'm not looking at my hand for her to look there. It's just this comfortable, natural. I'm putting my hand out to grab hers. So as much as I'm calling it a high five, it's not as sexy to call it what I'm about to call it, but it's like this light hand grab, okay? So it's like a hand grab like that, kind of shaking it for a second and letting it go, okay? Here's another example of it, kind of shaking it for a second. And then see what I did there? It's another way of doing it. You're kind of sliding your hand off. Seductive high five, kind of sliding your hand off right there. So you're maintaining that connection. Because let's think about it for a second. You're not gonna do this with a friend. Would you ever do this with a friend? No. You wouldn't, especially this one right here where you kind of grab it and you let go. You're making this nice connection with her, right? That's flirtatious right there. Now, here's an example of what it might look like when you're a little bit further away. So we are a little bit further away. 
this is a nice excuse to get closer to her. So when are you going to do this? When are you going to even implement this seductive high five or, or hand grab here? Not right away. Only when you've been talking in conversation for a little bit. Because when you're talking and you're starting to build that connection, it's going to make more sense that you might do something like this. And you kind of grab her and pull her closer. Okay? So let's see that again real quick. You do that. And then boom, you grab her, pull her a little bit closer. And you're maintaining eye contact the whole time. This is an example right here where you might go for the kiss. This is a circumstance in which you guys have probably kissed before. I would not do this on a first kiss. This is where you guys have already broken touch barrier many times. Maybe you're doing this on a on a second date or a, on a first date after you've done the first kiss where you just kind of grab her. You go in and go for the kiss right there. Okay, so... We'll see that again with a double high five. As much as I hated it before, you can totally do that. It's not a high five, though. It's more like a grab, right? So you just kind of grab and you just kind of pull her towards you. Very, very flirty and very dominant. All this is very dominant. You're the one who's in control, grabbing her, bringing her close in, just like that. Okay, that's another example there where you're doing it with one just like that. And then that's another example right there. So again, flirty, fun, having a good time. That's how you do it. Write down in the comments right now, thank you, Megan, for joining us and helping you with the seductive high five. If you need more help with flirting and being more physical with the woman and getting her attracted to you, get my course called Hooked at GetHerHooked.com. There's a link down in the description below. It's going to teach you how to be able to build attraction to the point where you can have conversations and be able to utilize a great technique just like this one. And hit that like button if you like this video and you want to see more.